Check on our weather. Lainey Pope is here with a little bit of a change that we may not like for the next few days. Yeah, I think we're going to have some cooler air and we're going to have rain, even thunderstorms. There are a couple of storm systems that are headed our way. One you were just talking about out there, though, you'll see nothing but blue skies over Blues Lake earlier today and some folks enjoying an October afternoon on the water. Clouds are rolling in, and yes, those clouds will produce some rain. Now, it should be dry when you wake up tomorrow morning. We're looking at a line of showers and thunderstorms coming from this by tomorrow afternoon. Here's that storm system we were just talking about with the pouring rain in San Francisco. Lots of wind and rain moving on shore. That storm system will impact us Thursday and Friday. In the meantime, we'll be dealing with the storm system that is over the upper Midwest right now, and it has a severe weather component to it. So there are severe thunderstorms here, some of which have produced tornadoes already, and that storm system is going to be moving our way for tomorrow afternoon. So we do have a chance for showers and storms, some of which could be severe late Monday, and then that California storm system brings us more rain on Thursday and Friday. If you're looking ahead to the weekend already, it looks like it'll be cool and fall like. We've got a weather impact day though to for tomorrow with those showers and thunderstorms developing late in the day. Isolated strong to severe storms. The winds are going to pick up regardless because this front is a strong one. So look for winds out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. So definitely a breezy day. Won't be nearly as warm once that rain begins. The temps out there today were in the mid 70s. I think maybe we'll hit mid 70s early on and then we'll cool down once the rain arrives. Look at the temps right now. We are close to 60 degrees across the area with some 50 up toward the border. We're going to have this blanket of cloud cover tonight, so it won't be too chilly tomorrow morning, and you'll likely wake up with clouds as well as fog. You can see a number of tornado touchdowns that have been reported from Oklahoma all the way up into Illinois and Missouri, and that is with that enhanced threat for severe weather over Arkansas and Missouri. The storm system will weaken some when it gets here, but we do still have this wide area here where we could have some severe thunderstorms develop and not just in the triad, even in the mountains and foothills, it looks like it's possible. We'll have a very brief air round of rain coming in with this, so it's not like it's going to rain all day tomorrow. This is just kind of one line that comes through with the front in the late day hours. Damaging winds is our biggest threat, but we also have the possibility that we could have isolated tornadoes. You look at the wind probability at about 15% across our area, so we don't anticipate widespread wind damage at this point and you notice too that the tornado probability is pretty low but it can happen and any severe thunderstorm in our region can produce an isolated tornado if it has just enough spin to it lots of cloud cover out there and tomorrow morning you'll likely wake up to not only some clouds but some fog and temperatures will be in the 50s when we start the day, so it's not terribly cool. We may have some drizzle with that early tomorrow morning. I expect that we'll have some breaks in the clouds tomorrow, especially around lunchtime. That's when we'll likely see those temperatures warming up into the mid to upper 70s. Notice that the rain starts to move in in that 2 p.m. to about 4 p.m. window in the mountains and foothills. For the triad, it may hold off until about 4 or 5 p.m. and then push through during the dinner hour and perhaps lingering just a little bit into the early nighttime hours. Temperatures again in the mid 70s, that stormy window from about 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. in the triad, and then from about maybe 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. for the foothills. That's when you've got that window for storms, and in the mountains, it could be as soon as 1, and hopefully will be done before 7 o'clock. There's your seven day forecast. Cooler air behind this with highs in the 60s and sun, and then that California storm brings us rain Thursday and Friday.